This is hop water. Well, it's actually an empty bottle of hop water. Hop water is, if you read here, a non-alcoholic sparkling hop water. It is a carbonated drink infused with hops, sort of like beer, except without the alcohol and also without the calories. So I ended up trying the variety pack of this. In fact, I've only got one left and I'm kind of pumped because it's cold and I get to drink it whenever this review is over. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on the hop water. If I think it is legit, if I think that it is delicious or not that great, I'm going to tell you what I think it's good for and what I think it's not that great for. I'm also going to put a link in the description down below in this video to Amazon. So if you want to go check out hop water over there click the link it'll take you directly over to the same variety pack that has lime blood orange classic not sure what that is exactly and also mango i'm going to go over each one of those during this review so click that it'll take you straight to amazon to check it out if you find this video to be helpful please hit like on it maybe they subscribe i do these types of videos and other health and fitness videos several times a week now let's get into the hot water Review. There's a few things that really stood out to me whenever I was looking into this, deciding on whether or not I wanted to try it. One was the zero calorie aspect. Obviously, I love that part of it. I love the carbonation aspect of it. I like bubbles, big deal. I'm a grown man that loves his bubbles. But I also like that if we actually look at the website, it talks about how this drink is infused not just with hops, which is, of course, included in beer, but it is also infused with stress-busting well, it says hops, adaptogens and nootropics. And in this case, the adaptogens are talking about, one of them is ashwagandha, which of course is a very popular one that we've seen over the last few years explode with things like the ashwagandha gummies. And the nootropics, they're talking about L-theanine primarily, which L-theanine is also very popular over the last few years as a sleep aid and a calming aid. So basically what they're saying here is that it's got the hops flavor, but it gives you a sort of a similar feeling as if you were getting a buzz through beer, but it's not a buzz. It's more of a calming effect because of the adaptogens and the nootropics. The question is, is do those things actually work? I'm going to get into that as well. So let's actually talk first about how does this taste? So it's important to note that whenever I'm doing this review is that I've never liked the taste of beer and I certainly hate the smell of beer. I think I smelled too much warm beer out in the country whenever I was a kid. So I've never enjoyed beer at all. So I was a little bit hesitant about this. If it's hops, obviously hops. Hops is one of the main flavor drivers in beer. How is this going to taste? I'll just say this. The hops was not overwhelming. It was actually sort of more of an accent to the drink. And I actually found that that accent was very delightful, very enjoyable. It added to the flavor instead of making it sort of like this, uh, like overwhelming, like, hey, taste me, I'm hops. It just kind of seemed like it was a nice natural part of the drink. So I was very surprised. It doesn't really have that beer smell either. It just got a little tinge of it. So like the hops part, actually, instead of it being a problem for me, I actually found it to be one of the most uh, enjoyable aspects of the drink. Now, as far as the different flavors, this one came with with blood orange, lime, mango, and then classic. I found that each one of those, depending on the flavor you got, made you, you could taste the hops a little bit different with each one. So for example, this is the blood orange. I felt like I could taste those hops just a little bit more with the blood orange than say maybe like the lime where I felt like it was a little bit lighter. But all of them were really good. The fruitiness of them, I shouldn't say fruitiness, but sort of that lighter sort of fruit flavor just made the whole thing really enjoyable on top of the hops. It felt like a summer drink. I've been chilling these out in the fridge and then drinking them out by the pool and they've been really enjoyable, especially when they're cold. And boy, I do love those bubbles. Now, as far as the adaptogens and the nootropics, I didn't necessarily feel anything whenever I drank these. And sometimes I drank two or three like back to back. But I think that's sort of the point with this is that it's supposed to be subtle. It's supposed to be calming. You're not supposed to go, my God, I feel, I feel incredibly calm all of a sudden. Like it's not supposed to be that. So I actually felt like the fact that I didn't really feel anything, including I didn't feel tense or stress or anything. I was just chilling whenever I was drinking these. So do the nootropics and the adaptogens work? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm not exactly sure that they don't. I was enjoying the drink so much, to be honest, I didn't notice anything either way. I think that's actually a good thing because I was just enjoying the drink. I wasn't like stressed. I was just chilling. Now, when we talk about the nutrition of these, obviously there's no alcohol in these whatsoever. Um, zero calories. I was surprised to learn that each one of these cans actually had 120% of your daily recommended value of vitamin C, which I thought was a pretty cool bonus. Not only does it taste good, 
Maybe it chills you out with ever with its adaptogens and nootropics, but it's actually got a pretty high dose of vitamin C in it, which I was really kind of surprised and impressed by. But again, I think it's important for me to mention that I don't like beer at all. I will avoid beer at all costs. I will only drink it if it's like the only thing available somewhere. So I was a little bit hesitant with this and it did not remind me of beer whatsoever. It felt like a totally different drink. The hops gave it just a little bit of that hint, but I feel like it, take, it took the only good thing from beer. Some people are going to give me hate for that, but it took the only thing from beer that I actually liked and it put it into this drink but without the calories a whole bunch of vitamin C maybe some chill out uh, 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 stuff in there as well the nootropics and the adaptogens but um, you know the hop water really impressed on multiple fronts okay so what's my final review on this who's it good for and who's it bad for well if you want the alcohol obviously it's not it's not a great thing some people might go well why would I want to drink the hops without the alcohol and that's fine you do you I totally get it so if you're into the alcohol aspect of the, the beer or the hops flavor then this probably isn't for you. But if you kind of like hops and you want zero calories, which you can't get with beer, um, you, you know, you want some nice refreshing taste versus like a beer taste, which is, <laughs> I don't want to say it's it's a pee-pee taste, but, you know, it's kind of got a little bit of that pee-pee quality. This is just nice and refreshing and, you know, not fruity in the sense of like it's a fruity drink. It just has a nice fruit accent to it on top of the hops. And it's just really good, especially whenever I get these really cold and I drink those and again, I mean, I don't want to reiterate this too much, but I love bubbles and the carbonation of this was fantastic. So if you're caloric minded, if you're trying to watch your calories, but you still want a nice refreshing summer drink, or even if it's not even summer, I guess this could work all year long if it's cold, who cares what temperature it is outside. I really found the hop water to be surprising how much I like the hops. Um, how much I liked these flavors and it just it surpassed probably most of my expectations for what I actually thought that this was going to be. So I'm a fan of the hop water. I'm shocked that I'm saying that, but it ended up being extremely good and enjoyable, especially out there by the pool. So if you're interested, again, no calories, no alcohol, lots of vitamin C, nootropics, adaptogens, just nice, refreshing, carbonated drink without too much flavor, just the right amount of flavor, including the hops, which is really good. Uh, again, link in the description down below to Amazon if you want to check out the hop water over there. If this was helpful, please hit like on it, maybe the subscribe. I do these types of videos and other health and fitness videos several times a week. I'm going to drink this last hop water now. I'm going to have to order another case, but if I wait anymore, it's going to get less cold. And I mean, I'm going to say it again. I want those cold bubbles. Thank you all so much for watching this hop water review. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.